Oh, okay. What are you doing? Nice you. Well, I'm getting ready. I took off my jacket. I hope they don't do anything silly today because I just, you know. Are you, do you have a puppet with you? I got two. I got Chip and uh, uh, Otto Kaiser. Cool. Yes, they're in the bag. They'll come out when I get dressed up a little oh, bit. Oh, well, I'll leave uh, you to get dressed up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, he told me to bring Ch Chip and Kaiser. Okay, well then bring them both out and have Chip up with you. Oh, nice. How is Chip these days? Oh, he's hanging in there. He's kind of disappointed you won't introduce us to anybody. Are you bringing the other puppet? Oh, he just ran him. I just gave him military, so I only do what I'm told. You only told me to bring one guy. Get a girlfriend for my man. I don't someone. know any puppets. Oh, you know someone from him. He's a human being. Sheila. Oh, oh. Hold on. It's our hundredth show. It's our hundredth show. Oh, shall we call the fire department? It's a hundredth show. Oh, it's our hundredth show. show. Blow up the candle, Sheila. Oh, it's call the fire department, y'all. You, you always ask, what is your show about? Hollywood Divine, we are the show that brings you the Hollywood people. We grab them off the streets of Hollywood. We put them on our show and make them famous. We grab them from bus stops and, and karaoke bars. We hunt them down like rats through the ghettos and gutters. We put them on our show and we make them famous. Oh, we are yes. the star makers. We are most grateful to be famous we, through you. We, Casting we, directors know us. Yeah, yeah. we will make you a star. So, all right, so let's let's jump right into... We're going to jump into the Public Access Hollywood clip. This is Public Access Hollywood. <laughs> Let's welcome the filmmaker extraordinaire of Public Access Hollywood, Will Perigen. Let's give Will a round of applause. Good to see you. It's wonderful to see you again. Ah, shake How my bone. <laughs> shake your bone. Well, Will, welcome. Mike. How's it Welcome. going? Good, good. Well, it's a little weird for me to be on this side of the camera as opposed to all the other times when I've been here. It's been me on the other side of the of camera. Of course. So now it's a whole, uh, a whole, you know a whole, a whole other thing. Now, go ahead. So you're one of the stars of the movie. You actually recently saw it. Tell me what you thought. Well, I thought it was just just a wonderful, wonderful film, mm -hmm. especially when it came to my part. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said something funny before that we had been following you for years. I mean, literally, we have been following you for the really? last three years. And my. It's really exciting that it's done, it's over with, and uh, we're ready to move forward with it. Hopefully something happens. Yeah. Really, how it all started is um, we saw Francine Dancer, and we were just <laughs> wondered, like, who is this person? So what we did is we, we set out with a video camera, and that was what we wanted to do and then uh, it just sort of evolved into this documentary on public access and through Francine Dancer we met David Hart who's here today and uh, 
you and uh, Jim Barry, and it's sort of like she was sort of this. She sort of really brought it all together. Sure. She is really the breakout star. Now, when you met David, when you met David Hart, that that's kind of when the film went down. Right? <laughs> well, it sort of went in a different direction. I wouldn't say down, but it kind of went down a in the gutter. Level. In the gutter is what you're talking. No, we didn't go in the gutter. That's not true. <laughs> all right, Dave. What's up? What's up, Dave? It's all good. Right up to the LA Times and All right, David. Thank you, David. Never gone in the gutter. I, I did read about you, David. Okay, let us bring up Francine Dancer. Francine, the Queen of Cable Access is with us today. Get a load of this girl. The Queen? I thought I was the Queen. <laughs> You're no, no, no. You're the queen of public access. Oh, thank you for the Valentine. Oh, you're welcome. I mean, every year I'm just totally devastated when I don't get a Valentine, and this is the first I've gotten years. Well. So it's all better now. Good. <laughs> you're so nice. It looks just like mine. Now, Francine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, well, tell tell you, I mean. You saw the movie. What did you think? I thought it was cool. Yeah. I, you know, I'm glad to be in it. Do you remember fun. the first time that we met? Um. Yeah. What was it? Well, um, we met at the green room. Yeah, uh, and I said I'm doing a documentary about public access. I get so many crank calls, you know, <laughs> and oh, you? I'll just go along with it. Yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I forgot that it was for real that you had actually uh, intended to film me that night, and I was surprised to see the the equipment there, and so I just like did the show. Yeah. Well, I was surprised was because you know I, I had up until that point only seen Francine dancer on television. As a dancer, the right. first time I met you, you were mm -hmm. you were in the wheelchair, so it was a little mm -hmm. surprising at first. It was like, okay, how does this all work? And I think it really only made the story that much more interesting. Of course. Phone call. Yeah. Oh, can Francine get naked? No. no. Bye bye. No. <laughs> good boy, girl. Good girl. I don't get it. I'm a good girl. Your mother's home dancing naked. <laughs> Go into her room. Thank you. Let's bring out David Hart. David. And Chip. And Chip the black boy. They might be confusing who's who, but... I think they're the same person, to be honest. Both of them are dummies? What are you saying? <laughs> I didn't say that. Uh -huh. Hi, David. Hi, welcome. Hi, Chip. Hi, Chip. <laughs> David was on show 45. Has Chip ever been on the show before? No. This is Chip's first time on the show? Chip's first time. Chip, you saw the movie. What'd you think? Oh, it's fantastic. Thank yeah. you for making the story. Well, I'll tell you how I did the show well. Uh, to half our show. <laughs> well, Jim Henson was my Sunday school teacher in the Christian Science Church. Okay. And you wanted me to reach people for Christian science and teaching kids to say no to drugs with Bible stories. And he told me he would give me his puppets, some of his puppet animal puppets, if I would do the show. And a religious, uh, at the time, the Christian Science Church had something called the Monitor Channel. Uh, and they monitored I, you? And, well, they have monitored me. And so I agreed to do the show, but they, uh, they were, they're they were a very conservative bunch. They didn't like the modern music I used, and they didn't like the ethnic tones on there. Right. And But I felt that I wanted to reach it all uh, uh, people. I've had Hispanic, uh, Asians, Latinos, everybody. I include everybody. So you're reaching with Chip. Chip. And actually, and you then, got your hand and up. And then I, I, I have other, I, 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 I like to include all people on my show, all races. That's and all wonderful. And I was on your show, and I appreciate that. Oh, I love you. You're a wonderful guest. I want you to come back. I will come back and read Bible stories oh. again. David, how many shows have you done? Because this Ooh. is like, that's one thing that I came started, up a lot. We asked David that question about I, four times I, and got four different answers. How I many have, shows have you done? I have done uh, 3,800 shows wow. from 1990 all the way until 2004. How many aliens have you had on the show yet? You've been abducted. Including me. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I'll tell you, it was the truest uh, experience. My uh, parents moved to Park Forest, Illinois, and I didn't believe in the UFO phenomenon until I had an abductive experience. And um, samples of my skin and blood were taken. My mother made a police report because I was gone for several days. She mm -hmm. thought I went to stay with my, my grandmother Schroeder in Chicago. And um, and then uh, my Christian Science practitioner uh, told me about a, a, a UFL researcher named Colonel Wendell Stevenson, Fabulous. and um, <laughs> he, he he got me books and videos on it, and I've been studying Fabulous. the UFO phenomenon. Well, who's and, next? Who's next, <laughs> David? You've been on the Three Geniuses show, right? Yeah, what do you I think have. About, what do you think of the Three Geniuses well, show? Well, they're very talented, but it's kind of far out. Yeah, far mm -hmm. out. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out the musician extraordinaire. He was up uh, at the beginning from uh, Strange, what, from. From the Archer's family. Archer's family. Family's definitely strange. Dan. 
All right. Thank you. What a wonderful friend of What's up, Dan? Is that a real cell phone or one of the ones from Toys R Us? Well, put the call on, you'll find out. <laughs> I oh, love hello. your outfit. Get on. Hello. 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 Oh, he called. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Welcome, Dan. <laughs> Welcome, Dan. Lovely outfit. <laughs> Sounds good, Dan. Yeah. All right. Good. You were on show 20, Dan. 20, yep. Yeah, show 20. Him and the three geniuses there. Oh, that was a legendary show. Exactly. Yeah. Tell, us, I, tell us your experience with Will, with the film. Oh. <sighs> I was in the gutter, man. <laughs> and Will found me. He's Another like, dude, one. I want you to be on this documentary. <laughs> and I was like, uh, okay, but I don't know, you know, why would I be on this documentary? He's like, well, you know, we're doing this public access documentary. And I go, well, I don't have a show, man. And he's like, well, you better get one, man, if you want to get out of the gutter. And I was like, okay. So, so I just it. sort of threw something together. And, that's it, man. It's it. all phony. It's a lie. He's Everybody. been on my show too, real good. Yeah, yeah. And I noticed Giddle's not here, and I know that David I miss talks she's incessantly so about Giddle. I love she's Giddle. She's such she's a beautiful, beautiful white rose. I wish I could have her grow in my garden. That's, yeah. that's one you won't be picking. <laughs> Let's give Jim Berry a hand. Oh, this is, uh, you know, Fabu, you know, that thing, oh, I'm going to do my own line, Killed Up. Killed Up. Our last name. <laughs> I'm going to sell oh. Killed Up shirts. Cool. Ooh, like, man. still they're not on this show. Cool. <laughs> is, uh, oh, can't do it on this show. No. Are Stars of Cable Access still around, the organization? Uh, we've uh, kind of, like, dis disbanded, in a sense. Uh, after 9-11, a lot oh, of things right. happened, and uh, actually, I went into my uh, painting show. Today's show is dedicated to uh, Ellen DeGeneres, because we're, we're getting oh. Ellen a tape, because we want to be on Ellen's show. Me and Sheila met Ellen at her book signing, and she, she said that she would put us on her show. So we got a makeover for you, Ellen. Yeah, so we're going to get you a copy of the show, and she said she would come on this show also. All right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.